Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be here answering some questions that I have received um, uh, when I've been doing some of my author coaching. I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about that. And I also wanted to talk about some key activities that you can do so that you are definitely um, doing the activities you need to do to be a successful writer. Okay, last time my light had a little bit of an issue. I'm going to cut that little part in here so you guys can see that. However, I am going to go ahead and answer the question that I was on when that happened. So here we go. Here it is. She said, he said, after you establish it, like I would say he said this, she said that, or. All right, guys. So my ring light is on protest for some reason. Apparently it is too, too warm to continue. Okay, so <laughs> now that that is all sorted. So what I was talking about is basically dialogue. Um, after you establish, you know, he said, she said, he said, she said, you're done. You only have to do it twice. So if it's somebody's name or whatever it is, um, Jake said this and Mary said that, or um, Paul said this and Johnny said that. Whatever it is, you have them say it and then you don't have to say it anymore. And it's like a quick like trick hack thing to slimline your writing and it doesn't interrupt because so many he said, she said, he said, she said, or um, he giggled, they did this, da, da, da. it can take away from the dialogue. So just kind of get into the dialogue, have them speaking every so often reestablish, hey, this is what they said. Um, so this is just like a writer tip and that's kind of really technical, technical. This is not what this is about. So I'm going to go on to something else now. All right, guys, so next, what is the next thing that I would say? Oh, let's see, what else did I receive? Uh, I've had some people say, how do you get into doing um, takeovers? Or how do you get into promotional groups? Um, how do you get a good cover? How do you um, uh, set up your books for... Um, get them in there for free, you know, like a free post for your book and stuff like that. Um, my biggest suggestion, of course, I, if I'm coaching, I'll give you like the specifics, blah, blah, blah. But my biggest suggestion for any of those is, um, to join different Facebook writer groups because they answer those questions in there. And, um, a lot of times I would say to go specifically to your genre. So like romance, if it's romance or sci-fi or whatever. However, a lot of times, there's some that are like a catch-all. Um, they will have that information in those groups. That's why I would suggest looking those up because if you have questions you don't even know you have yet, you have that resource at all times. Okay, and then I had some people go, oh, how do I publish my book? How do I set up my, um, you know, basically, how do I format it? Um, you can work with someone who does formatting and stuff like that. That's obviously something that you can do. Um, but a lot of times, if you look up, how do I format? that information is going to be there. I can always do a video on that, but there's videos out there that were very helpful and also very helpful for um, people who, sorry, it's just a little warm, so I'm gonna put that over. But like companies, like how companies, um, different publishing houses do it, they do it from those videos. So um, that might help you. Some people are like, oh, I'm feeling really frustrated. I feel like I'm not getting my book done in the time that I thought that I was going to get it done. My suggestion is to schedule it, schedule a due date. So if you have like a date that you're rapidly approaching, you'll get it done because you'll have to hit that deadline. So give yourself deadlines and that will really help. How do you approach kind of telling family and friends about having a book without sounding like salesy or, um, and stuff like that, or just period, or, Oh, you know, no one knows I have a book and this and that. And then you kind of go, well, did you tell somebody that, you, you know, you have a book? And sometimes people go, oh, no, I didn't do that because I felt like I felt weird. So again, to that, they felt salesy or something like that. Um, instead of like directly, if you feel weird about saying or oh, whatever, instead of directly saying, hey, I've got a book, um, whatever, just post it on your social medias and talk about it and talk about it frequently. Not like where it's annoying, but at least post about it a couple times a week and say, oh, this book's out here. Or just kind of say, oh, my favorite part of writing this book was or something like that. Just talk about your books because that gets information out because you would be surprised. Family members or friends or other readers, period, they might not even know that you have a book that's available to read. And if you do talk about it frequently, people are actually going to know because I know for me, um, if I see a friend who's on like, they say, oh, hey, can you guys come follow me over on Pinterest? And they just kind of do it like a group all. You have an option then to do it. You're not being like targeted. Um, but for me, if I see it and they go, oh, I, ha I have a thing on Pinterest, I'm going to run over there and I'm going to do it because I might not, I, I, I tend to not know 
oh, this person has that. Oh, duh, I should go find them. Da, 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 da. I don't always spend time on people's links. So it's important. And I wouldn't have even known had she not posted that. And it was just in general. It wasn't, oh, hey, um, this is my, hey, Lexi, uh, go follow me over there. Now, if somebody says it for me, I'm a little different because I like to support people. I'll go do it. But I'm saying, but if you feel uncomfortable saying to somebody, hey, can you go do this? Then just say it in general, throw it out there in general, because somebody like me is going to say, oh my goodness, I didn't realize they were on that platform or oh my goodness, I didn't realize they had a book. And that's like a, a comfortable way to do it versus just something else. Okay. So that's my suggestion. And that's what I suggested to that person who was like, how do I get my stuff out without people feeling like I'm selling to them? And by the way, there's nothing wrong with actually sharing what you're doing, because if you're somebody who would support somebody else and they tell you, then it's okay for you to say that to them too, okay? Not in a, you better go buy my book way, no. Um, in a, hey guys, I have that out there. I totally would appreciate that. Um, reviews help me. So if you could just like drop a review, I don't care if it's like one sentence, that helps. Um, a lot of times people want to help you, okay? People aren't jerks. And if they are, you know, you need some different friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you get what I mean. Um, a lot of times people want to help you out. All right, guys. And that is the end of this set. I do have some more coming up and it's going to be the final part, but something that you have to look forward to here is a preview. You know, different authors have asked me when I'm coaching them. Um, how do I know my book's ready? There's one that I was going to do and it's very, very important. So if I do remember it, I will, during editing or something, I will cut it in, but I don't remember it right now. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, I did remember guys. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos.